Cinder, calm down. It's going to be okay. My best friend is dead, and it's all my fault. How can anything ever be okay ever again? Look, Geralt's probably still alive. Huh? Straw didn't kill him outright. He must be keeping Geralt as a hostage to lure us into a trap. So we need to find a way to sneak into Strahd's castle and take him back. Can't we just fight Strahd? Oh yeah, because we fared so well against him and those reverend. I freaking died. Speaking of which, why the hell did you use the scroll to revive me? What? It only had one use. It was our safety net, and now it's gone. You're mad at me for using our safety net as a safety net. You should have saved it for someone more important. Okay, we don't have time to unpack all of that. It was a tactical decision I stand by. Look, back to the problem at hand. What are we going to do about Geralt? Maybe we could have the ravens help us? Like, one flies in there, gets Geralt, Geralt hops into his portable hole, and the ravens grab the hole and carry him out? Strahd might have taken everything Geralt had on him. And portable holes don't have air. Geralt would suffocate. I think he would be fine. Irina was bragging about how Geralt can hold his breath for a really long time. Why would he need to wait? Oh. Now that that image has been horribly engraved into my mind, can we please focus? There was a dragon ghost in the castle that wanted us to kill the undead, and well, the remnant are dead, so maybe he can help us. What were you guys doing out here anyway? We saw a battle and didn't have much of a choice to stay on the path, so we went here and a bunch of bats flew out before we- Wait, you saw a bunch of bats flying around and didn't think that they might have been working for Strahd. Look, from now on, if we see a bat, we'll kill it on sight. Can we please just go talk to the dragon? We go into the castle and try to speak to the dragon's spirit, but get no response. We decide to look around for a bit, hoping to find something useful when we walk into a room with a pedestal. There's something on it, covered in a cloth, and when Misha removes it, we find Geralt's severed head. Oh my god, he's dead! Hey, Cinder. Hot potato! He's dead! He's freaking dead! No, he's not. What? I cast Detect Magic. It's a stone statue. Oh. You couldn't tell? Look, Misha, I'm having a really bad day. We kill some more undead that were in the castle. Easy undead. Weak undead. Undead that can't paralyze us. And we see a brief glimmer of what looks to be a dragon lead us to the basement. When we get down there, we find a skeleton. But he doesn't attack. He just sits there. Who are you? I was once a brave warrior. But now I must waste away. Strahd took everything from me, and I failed to defeat him. Well, you could help us go against him. Together we might have a chance. Yeah, we hate Strahd, you hate Strahd. We'll make a great team. No, you need to leave. Strahd is my burden. I'm the only one who can punish him for what he's done. You're so selfish! You're not the only person who's been hurt by Strahd. You can't just sit here sulking while he torments all of Barovia. To claim his punishment is your burden to bear alone is to deny his other victims justice. Wow, Cinder, I'm impressed. That was almost heroic. You are all unworthy of defeating him. Leave, I'll strike you down. Perhaps you could tell us how we can become worthy so we can work together. No, Sir Nunos. Let's go. We're not the ones who are unworthy. He is. There was no way for us to convince him to help us, so we left. And as we were walking down the front steps, we saw a figure in the distance. It's Geralt. Geralt! Oh, thank God you're okay! I was so worried about you! I'm so sorry! I didn't think it would go like that, but it did, and I'm, I'm just really glad you're okay. Geralt, what happened? How did you get away? I don't know. I remember Strahd grabbing me, and then I woke up back in Valaki at the inn. Erwin said the ravens found me. I didn't want to wait around there, so I headed back here. Why would Strahd let you go so easily? What's important is that Geralt is back. 
just in time for his wedding. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's go home, gang. I should have taken my chances with Strahd. We start heading back to Valky, and once we get into town, Cinder uses thaumaturgy to alert all the townspeople. Hey, there's going to be a wedding this afternoon in the center of town. Please remember to bring gifts. Okay, I've had enough. Geralt casts suggestion on Cinder. Go tell Irina we're not getting married. Okay. Cinder rushes off ahead of the group and finds Irina at the mansion. Irina, I have something very important to tell you. We're not getting married. No! Uh, I know that. I was so close! And even though I'm still unlucky in love, I am really happy for you and Geralt. As the maid of honor, I made arrangements for the wedding to take place this afternoon. So let's start preparing. Wow, she played you, man. She played you. <laughs> Everyone starts getting on board with the wedding, Misha agreeing to officiate it. And Geralt, deciding that there's no other way out, makes a break for it. Cinder has a brief discussion with Misha, and they head after him. Erwin, you need to hide me! You know where the attic is. Erwin, we're looking for Geralt. Have you seen him? I'm not telling you anything. Where's my wine? Oh, crap. We forgot about that. We'll have to pick it up later. Anyway, Misha, let's check the attic. We go up to the attic and find Geralt hidden under a blanket with his feet poking out. Yeah, he rolled really low on his stealth check. Misha hands Cinder his giggling dagger... And Cinder stabs Geralt in the ankle. <laughs> Ow! What the hell? Now it will be harder for you to run away. Come on, buddy, we're late for your wedding. Misha, you have to get me out of this. Look, I'm officiating it, and I promise you won't actually get married. Just come to the ceremony. It will all be over soon. Okay, I trust you. We go to the wedding and start with the ceremony. Then, it's time for the show. Wow, the entire town is here. Okay, so I'm going to sit way in the back row, away from all this insanity. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Irina Kolyana and Geralt. I don't know his last name. Now, if anyone has any reason these two should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object! Wait, what? Something comes over Geralt. His eyes white out for a second, and he casts a spell that Cinder quickly counterspells as though nothing happened. Irina, I believe that you and Geralt belong together on a deep spiritual level, but you should never enter a marriage with secrets between you. And on the night of your engagement, Geralt cheated on you! With a cat! That druid chick, she turned into a cat, and he cheated on you with her! I hope you can find it in yourself to work through this and forgive him. See, I told you you wouldn't end up actually getting married. What the hell? You bastard! Okay, so this is happening. You bastard! How could you betray me like that? Look, we weren't really together. It wasn't serious. Irina, are you okay? Who needs a marriage when I'll have 18 years worth of child support? You're not pregnant, you crazy bitch. I faked it! Every time! So did I! Now if everyone would please leave their gifts behind to comfort the bride in her time of grief, that would be great. Cinder, enough! We are judged by the company we keep. And I am ashamed to be judged by the actions made today. And that is when Cinder's alignment went from chaotic neutral to chaotic evil.